So in this video, question 3.3, we will use cache of current law. We first will use cache of current law at node v, v or v, v not v0. We have only one node. The second node is the ground. So it's equal to zero. V is equal to zero. So Cache of current law states that the sum of currents entering the node is equal to zero. We have the first current is entering the VO node, the V naught node, so it's it's going to be negative. And then for the rest of the currents, they are coming out of the node. So they are they are positive. We have for the first current the difference between the, the two nodes, the voltage of the two nodes. The second no node is voltage zero. So we have only voltage of the of the first node. We have for this current we have V V naught over over ten and then we have V naught over 20 and then v naught over 30 and then we have the 20 current and then we have the vo 60 v naught over 60 for this current then we sum up all the values and then we do the weight and maqamat and then we will have 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 over 60 is equal to v naught which is equal to negative 12 then we have 12 over 60 v naught is equal to negative 12 1 over 5 V naught is equal to negative 12, V naught is equal to six, negative 60 volt. And then for I1, this is I1, it will be V naught over 10, which is equal to negative 60 over 10, which is negative 6 ampere. And then for V2, and then for I2, it's equal to V naught over 20 the second node voltage is zero so we have only v naught over 20 it's supposed to be v naught v naught minus zero over 20 so we discard the zero then we have i3 i3 is equal i3 is equal to v naught over the 30 Ohm, which is equal to negative two ampere. Then for the negative, then for the I, I four. We have v v naught over the sixty ohm, which is equal to negative sixty over sixty, which is equal to negative one ampere. 